Assalamualaikum and greetings to Dr. Haryati binti Abdul Wahid as our lecturer also to our fellow fans. We are from group 6 and in this video we will talk about the analysis about 99 Speed Mart company management. There are three group members, Kairuni Sana Suha binti Rusli, Siti Noh Hidayah binti Tajba and Muhammad Azuddin bin Nurizam. Uh, we want to share our analysis to you all today. First to know is the organization background. As we know, 99 Speed Mart is a mini supermarket that offers daily products at lower prices. For your information, the owner is OKU okay People, which is Mr. Lee Tiam Wah. For the logo 99, like truly means the identity of grocery store. And the word Speed Mart means their commitment by giving good quality products and customer service. In 2022, there are 2,149 outlets around Malaysia except Kelantan and Terengganu. For the HQ, are located in Klang Selangor. Next, we look the history of 99 Speed Mart, introduced by Lee Tiam Wah. Unfortunately, after 8 months Lee's birth, uh, he got polio and lost control to walk. Because of that, uh, Lee's education stopped at secondary school. So what he do after that is open their own grocery store with his grandmother's support. After a few months, his grocery uh, become more supportive and he tried to open Eight outlets uh, around Klang with the name uh, Mini Market 99. In 2000, he changed the name to 99 Speed Mart and his business was success with 2,149 outlets around Malaysia until now. For our analysis, we go one of the 99 Speed Mart branch located in Kelumpang, Selangor. The reason is to know how they manage to run the business in branch sector. And for the manager, as for now, is Nia Nabila Abdul Karim. Next, the vision and mission of 99 Speed Mart is near and safe. To keep up with their image as one of Malaysia's market leaders in the retail grocery store, they aim to fulfill their customers' needs by providing a wide range of daily use products in their concept-oriented mini-markets by working together with the suppliers. By incorporating both elements of saving time and money of customers, 99 Speed Mart is truly near and safe. In the planning parts of 99 Speed Mart, Based on the SWOT analysis that has been conducted towards the store, we have identified a few of their strengths, weakness, opportunity, and treat. The strength that we had identified for 99 Speed Mart is the cheaper price of goods and their closer distance compared to other shops and supermarkets. They also provide a lot of incentive for their staff, such as pre DG SIM card every year. The weakness that we have identified for this store are problem of lack manpower where they always does not have enough staff to organize the store. The problem of an untidy store environment where the layout in the store is very irregular and they also face the problem of stock supply from the warehouse which the warehouse sometimes does not distribute the goods quickly. For the opportunity parts, 99 Speed Mart offer job opportunities to young generation and they also have the opportunity to expand their premises up to a state that does not have a speed mark yet, such as Terengganu. And lastly, we have the trick, wherein their trick is their competitor like TF Value Mark, and they also face the future crisis, which is price increases in the future. From this work analysis, we have identified a few strategies that can be used by 99 Speed Mark Kalumpang to compete with their competitors, which is growth strategies in terms of using concentration that will focus on its primary line of business. They also can use the stability strategy where they can maintain their business when they are facing a lot of crisis in the future. Next, the competitive advantage that it can develop is the focus strategy in terms of geographical location and product variety. Now, we will look at the organizing part of 99 Speed Mart. In 99 Speed Mart Kalumpang, their organization starts with the cashier, where the cashier manage all of the transactions happen in the store and doing other works. Secondly, they have the storekeeper, where the storekeeper manage in and out stock from the warehouse. Thirdly, they have the supervisor, where the supervisor becomes the head of the staff in the store. And lastly, the most important roles in the store is the manager, where they becomes the leader in the store. Now, we will move to the type of departmentalization. The first departmentalization of 99 Speed Mart is functional departmentalization, where they create departments based on the functions they perform for the company. The second departmentalization is geographic departmentalization, where managers being transferred to one branch and another to gain more experiences. 
The advantage of this type of departmentalization is it integrates expertise and maximizes efficiency and productivity for functional departmentalization. While for geographic departmentalization, they will learn a variety of new things and experience at the new place. Now, I will explain about leadership. For company NSP, we have three skill leadership. First is conceptual skill. It's mean a person who has the ability to think effectively and see the overall relevance of either between each department and the organization. For example, Puan Yang has set the strategic direction of the organization regarding store resources as well as the skill of her employee from the experience she has and work as a cashier until she success and become a manager at 9SP Mart Store in Kalumpang. Next is human skill. It means ability to work effectively with your own working group as well as other in the organization. For example, Puan Nia as the head of the organization every day makes a briefing with her employee to discuss the business and also improve the, their work to reap more profit. Then the, then the last is technical skill. It's mean knowledge and ability of a person in handling a task. As a leader of the organization, they have to know about the financial ramification and also other effect of the technical part of the organization. Now we go talk about corporate social responsibility. There are three impact for community. First is when Nakina Speed might using world sale price, it makes customer purchasing power more high. Second, when Nakina Speed might located near residential, the customer can easily reach and buy, no need go supermarket far away from home. And the last one is Nakina Speed Mart currently active in opening branch and they need more manpower. So Nakina Speed Mart can offer open job vacancy to community. For the programs, they are divided by three. For the environmental protection, they give check to Zoo Negara at 28 July 2020. For the welfare, 99 Speed Mart collaboration will see joined together on blood camping at 31 January 2021. And the last one is community. At 29 April 2022, they gave 4,500 hampers to Asnaf for high Raya celebration. Next, I will explain about control. In an interview with the 99 Speed Mart manager, I got three control. First is control the quality of its product, service and employee behavior and performance. For quality product, Nines Pima very careful about the expired date and also take great care of the price. Next control of service, Nines Pima always open branch near residential areas so that customer can easily shop. Another open near residential area, they are control of their service by washing the mind of their employee before being designated as permanent employee at Nines Speed Mart. For example, she will brainwash the cashier and find a cashier who is friendly. So this will customer feel comfortable. While as a storekeeper, he will take care of service Nine SP Mart from helping customer bring the purchase item. And the last part for contract service is to contract employee service. Nine SP Mart will offer great deals to them if working at Nine SP Mart, such as will give Burger King voucher. Every every month to employee and will also provide DJ SIM card with 40 GB internet and unlimited call at the beginning of each year. Then the last is control of employee behavior and performance. For control employee behavior manager and NSP will control by monitoring her shop to see whether the performance of employee is good or not. On the other, when employee often play the phone, manager will warning her employee. For conclusion, NSP Mart is a store built to make it easy for consumers to buy daily necessity. Its establishment close the settlement areas and the sale of goods at low price can help the community to get good easily at affordable price while helping the low income community to obtain essential goods. The establishment of NSP Mart should be expanded nationwide because although this store has some disadvantage, but this store can to some extent help the community meet their daily needs. Uh, that's all from us. Thank you.